520 Bruce Cohen here and it's the uh, Festival of Words uh, that's going to be going on Festival of Words Art Collective and the event is going to be in Grand Coteau and Sunset coming up this weekend yes. and you guys have been on before and there's there's uh, several different things that you're going to be doing with the Festival of Words. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's jam packed with all kinds of events. Uh, I just want to say that this is our 11th year going. Wow. That we've uh, held the festival. So it's uh, and this year I think it's going to be just, um, you know, right out of the gate, it's going to blast everybody with a good time. Now, this is something that's great for the community. It's also going yes. to help to enhance literary skills Absolutely. for St. Landry Parish and other parts of the case. It's a celebration of everything literary. Mm -hmm. You know, spoken word, poetry, prose. We have a prose author this year. We can, in a moment, get into who is appearing this year. Uh, or do you want me to? Uh, well, you have you have three well, authors. I know that you're. We that have you're going three have featured authors this year. We have Jack Bedell, who's the current poet laureate of the state. Okay. So his 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 thing is poetry. We have Lindy Hubbard, who wrote a, um, a young adult's title called The Talented Ribkins, uh, which won a, all kinds of awards from New Orleans. She'll be with us. And then finally, we have Cornelius Eady. Cornelius is a musician's poet. Okay. He has a band. He's a jazz musician, but he has a band behind him, and he does his spoken word poetry to music. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Now, these are going to be a different venues. You also have writing workshops, a community stage, and right. then there's other thing that I like, uh, drive-by poetry. This well, that is something that you're in charge this of. This is my baby. And uh, drive-by poetry is where I take high school students, I workshop with them um, to get them to a kind of a performance level with their recitation. Mm -hmm. And um, we uh, contact shop owners in Grand Coteau and Sunset, let them know we're coming by, just the shop owners. Once we get into the stores, the grocery stores, the boutique shops, the shoppers don't know. Mm -hmm. And the kids just walk in and start reciting poetry. Wow, that's got to be great. With yeah. all the little boutiques and art galleries they have in Grand Coteau Absolutely. and Sunset, too, you know, just to combine the literary right. arts with some of the visual arts as well. And then, How can people get information on the schedule? Because there's so many different events, right. you probably want to take in more than one. Awesome. Absolutely. And uh, you can go to .org. Okay. Um, or you can call 337-212-1026 uh, to get more information. Um, uh, there, I think you can still sign up for the workshops if you're interested. You just go to the website and mm -hmm. you know um, find the links. And uh, you know it's a PayPal system you can set up, pay ahead of time, and uh, the workshops are all being ta uh, taught by the featured authors. And um, it's just, it's a great day. It looks like the weather is going to be fantastic for us. So far, It's going to yeah. be cool, but sunny. And the Festival of Words, this is not the only event that your group puts together. You have Word Crawl, which is right there on your hat. But you right. got to, how Word, can, if somebody was interested in your organization, how could they find out more and, and get in touch with you? They can go to the website, and then hopefully on uh, Saturday or Friday evening, our kickoff is Friday evening at Chicory's in Grand Coteau. Um, or Saturday, if they come Saturday, they can come to anybody that has a blue shirt. This is our new, I'm um, fashioning our new shirt this year. They can come and talk to us and we can get them involved. Sounds good. Festival of Words going on this weekend in Grand Coteau and Sunset at various locations. Festivalofwords.org. Bruce, Thank you, my always friend. good to see you. Good luck this weekend. And as you were saying, you've been watching the forecast. Meteorologist Daniel.